Hi, Catherine from makingyourmoneymatter.com here. I am talking today about YNAB. This is the first video in the series of a couple videos that I'll be doing that show how to use YNAB and some of the ways that I use YNAB for my personal finances. This is a tool that has made the most difference for me and also the one that I use absolutely the most and recommend the most. So if you think it's just another boring run-of-the-mill Quicken alternative, then you would be wrong. Um, if you don't believe me, you can go, you can check out their 2017 mixtape collection, which is just basically a, um, a bunch of popular songs that they've redone to have personal finance lyrics, and it's, it's pretty entertaining. If that doesn't make you want to sign up, then I will give you a couple other reasons. Um, the thing that I love about YNAB is their view of a budget. Yes, it's called You Need a Budget, but it's um, a different view of budgeting than you've probably done before. So instead of just being a budget, it's more about having a spending plan and just telling your money where to go. So the things that um, YNAB will help you with, with um, getting your money under control and going just a step farther than other budgeting software, is first they have you budget or um, really assign to a category every dollar that you have now. So you put in all your accounts and you have a total amount of money that you have right now and every single dollar that you have needs to go to a category. So some of them might go to different savings accounts or emergency fund, something like that. And then the next thing you do is when you receive money, you give a, a job to each one of those dollars that you receive. So every single time you're you're following this pattern and it makes you um, really think about where your money is going and, and your future and you can set goals and things like that. And so we're gonna go over um, into the software and I'll show you how it works. To check out YNAB, you simply go to youneedabudget.com, click on this button in the middle of the screen that says try YNAB free for 34 days. You'll enter your email and a password, and then um, once you click the button, it will send you an email that has you confirm your trial. Once that's been confirmed, you can go to this login button, and it should take you right there. After you sign in, you'll get a little banner at the top, and your screen will look mostly like this. Um, the banner that you have will have um, not have this little checklist completed yet, um, but we are going to actually go through some of the same things that they're suggesting that you do. So it's really simple to edit categories in YNAB. That's one thing that I absolutely love about it. Um, these here are the categories highlighted in blue, and then in white are the subcategories for each one. So if you want to uh, move them around, you can just drag them and drop them or even within the, the categories, you can go ahead and move those within or even to, to new categories down there. So I'm certainly biased, but I'm gonna show you how to set these up so that they match the budget spreadsheet that we looked at in one of the mini classes on budgeting. Of course, you can set this up however you want. You can use um, the template that YNAB, YNAB has provided. It's just not really how I like to do my budget personally. To set up a new category, you select this plus category group button. You can enter a description. Um, the first description we're gonna have in ours is savings goals. So we'll go ahead and enter that as a new category. And then to add a subcategory, you select the plus sign to the right of the, the category. So that'll only show up when you're actually hovering over that category. So we have three here. There's emergency fund. There's, let's see, retirement and other. And you can customize these to whatever you want. Even if you use the, the making your money matter budgeting spreadsheet, you can still make, make this work however you would like. Okay, we'll drag those so they're in the order that we want them to be. I wish there was a way I could share the budget template with you um, all filled out and just give it to you, but unfortunately YNAB does not offer any sort of um, like uploading a budget from another login or anything like that. I've tried and tried to figure it out and I've found that um, it, it does not appear to be possible. 
Once the categories are all updated, this is what the budget will look like. If we scroll down, you can see that they all match the budget um, from the spreadsheet. In your new budget, you'll likely still have a banner at the top, and one of the first things it'll ask you to do is to set a goal. So if you go to one of these categories or subcategories, you'll see on the right hand side you can just click that button to create a goal. We'll set a target category balance by date and we're going to say we want $1,000 by April 2017. This is for our emergency fund. So we can hit OK and it will track your progress. It will also break it up um, for each of the months until you get there and let you know how much you should be saving that month to meet your goal. I love this about YNAB. I think the fact that they put the goals very first shows the real um, the real value of the software. It's not in trying to save as much money as possible just to save money or to cut back expenses. It's really to to see what your money can do for you and to to focus on those goals. The next thing you'll be prompted to do is to add an account, so you can use that. Um, top ribbon there or you can just select add account on the left sidebar. The default is to add an account that you link to your bank account. I highly recommend that but for now we're just going to add a manual account for this one. We'll name it checking and select checking type. Pretty simple and then let's say today's balance is a thousand dollars. We can change the date of the starting balance if you just select the date now and maybe we want it to be January 1st and save it. So for now you'll want to check uh, to set up all of your accounts that you have that will go into your budget. So those are all the accounts that you're going to assign to categories. If we look here you can see accounts like investment accounts, mortgage, assets like your house, cars, liabilities, that'd be like an auto loan. All of those accounts will not actually go into your budget um, because you're not going to take your brokerage accounts and assign them to pay groceries or things like that. So for now you can just focus on setting up your budget accounts. So you can see here now we have all the accounts set up. We have a checking account with a thousand, savings account with 500, and credit card with a $2,250 balance. If we look at our budget now, I want to draw attention to the credit card category. That's a brand new category that YNAB set up automatically when I entered that um, I had a credit card account. So we'll, we'll talk about um, how credit card accounts are treated a little bit differently than other accounts in the future. If you look at your budget, you'll see first that in this um, hopefully green box, you have the amount that needs to be budgeted. So this is the total of the checking and savings account. They don't include the credit card because they assume that um, you may not be able to pay that credit card payment all right now. So we need to take that 1500 in this case and we need to assign it to categories. So we might say that you have, um, you'll be getting paid in a week, but in the meantime you have $100 you need to spend on groceries. You'll be shopping for clothes for a hundred, let's say rents 700 within the next week. Your gas bill a hundred, I'm just making stuff up as I go. Let's assume a couple other things here. Maybe your pet needs some supplies and we will just, let's see. We're going to actually dump that 500 from the savings account into the emergency fund. We'll say that's why it's been in your savings account is you've you've been saving that for your emergency fund. So you can see now we've budgeted down to zero. This is the goal in YNAB. If you budget too much, um, as you saw just a minute ago, this will turn red to kind of warn you that you have more expenses than what you have the money for and you need to kind of adjust things. You can also see that 1500 that we budgeted was funds for March. That was um, all the incoming beginning balances. And you'll see that we've budgeted in March 1500 here. So you can ignore the overspent um, in February one 
and the budgeted and future one for now. So just a few quick things about YNAB if you're new. I know when you first look at YNAB, it is very different than anything else you've been using, and there might be a small learning curve. You might not like all the, the jillion rules that they have in YNAB, or you might be a little bit overwhelmed by all the emails and the videos that they send and that they have, which are, are meant to be a good resource, and they are, but at first it can be, I think, a little bit overwhelming. So don't get overwhelmed by this. Just think of it in really simple terms. All you're doing with YNAB is you're just taking all the money you own right now and then all the money that you have coming in and you just make a, a plan for it. And if your plan changes, YNAB is even better for that. It's so easy to just move around money. Flexibility is really key in being able to stick with the budget. It's not about setting these numbers in stone and trying to get the lowest amounts that you can possibly spend because you need to save, you know, you've heard a million times. It's really just about planning for your future and and setting those goals. It's the flexibility of the software is um, the thing I think that I love absolutely the most. I probably mentioned how much I love YNAB, but I truly believe that if you can change your financial situation, you can change your life.